What's up everybody? It's Alex and RJ here from Backyard Sprouts and today's video is just going to be a simple thank you for everyone who's joined us and subscribed to our channel. Okay, so the first thing we really want to talk about is just thank you guys. We've had so much fun on this journey. You know, our first year I think we had about 100 subscribers join us on this channel, but we just love seeing it grow and seeing all the feedback you guys have given us saying thank you for these videos. They've been helpful. They truly make us really happy and we're really happy to be growing. So we hope you guys are learning just as much as we are because it's definitely been an uphill curve for us in terms of learning about the microgreen business and the whole industry. And we've trying to put out good content because we want you guys to be successful as well and really enjoy that. That being said, we understand it's a really challenging time for everyone. And we've really taken this time to ponder and think about what our goals are and what we want to focus on, right? Right. Yeah, so as Alex said, like the 500 subscribers is super exciting because, yeah. yeah, the first year we struggled to at least get to the 100. So when you're a YouTuber, you have these milestones, right? The first 100 is important because that's when you get to claim your unique name from YouTube. So you're no longer YouTube.com slash a bunch of random numbers. We're now yeah. YouTube.com slash Backyard Sprouts. Then you have your 500 mile mark, and then after that you have the golden 1,000. So our next goal is obviously hitting the 1,000 because then we become official YouTube partners. And that's gonna be super exciting. But like Alex said, our first year we struggled to reach that 100. We we're like, once we get 100, we get to claim the name. And now here we are already at 500. So it is, it is super exciting because if you guys remember, if you guys have been watching us since the beginning, our first YouTube video, our first couple, you can see us still kind of getting a feel for what Backyard Sprouts was going to be, right? Mm -hmm. We were going to be like a uh, uh, Curtis Stone style official urban farm. And as we played with our own um, schedules and times, it wasn't as feasible as Curtis Stone's because mm -hmm. as, you, as you guys have been following us, we had a number of challenges. One was our dogs. Yeah. So we couldn't fully dedicate our entire backyard to just all greens because then there would be no room for our dogs. And obviously, more importantly, we still work full-time jobs during the day. And it was so time-consuming. How long did it take you to harvest, like, the lettuce? Oh, yeah, it was and like wash four them hours that. those times, yeah. Because, so, um, if you guys know Curtis Stone, they use big washers to kind of spin all of their lettuce, which makes total sense. But we were not at that point, so I was still having to, like, hand spin all of these things. And it, it would just take us hours. And RJ <laughs> would be out there taking tomatoes for hours. So it was not conducive to our schedule. Right, so we kind of started evolving a little bit. Somewhere in there, uh, we were like, let's check out these microgreens and, and you know, the rest is history. So we, we did the microgreens, landed our first couple clients, and then realized that this is something we can specialize in. We started, we still grew whatever we grew for that year and yeah. still supplied them for the farmers markets, but it wasn't enough really for restaurants. Like we didn't, we couldn't, we could, but then it would sacrifice the dogs right. area, right? So the journey has been very fun and very interesting, so to speak. Yeah. So the big thing that really happened for us during quarantine is we kept growing our home delivery business, which is super exciting. The woman we work with, she owns Farm Fresh Carolinas and she's just a fantastic person. We really enjoyed that relationship. And we hope all the customers who have been buying those micros are loving them too. But one of the things we also want to focus on is what we would tackle when we came out of this. So we've been very lucky that all of the restaurants we had previous relationships with have survived this shutdown, which is amazing. We know that that is not the case across the country. And we have rekindled those relationships, gotten them back on deliveries. We've also identified other areas that we're trying to grow in. And that's where we're going next, along with trying to reach that thousand, which we'll keep you guys up to date on. But our future goals right now are to keep growing the business a bit here right. and make some new relationships. Yep. Please keep putting questions down in the comments. We love answering them. It's really fun and it kind of helps us think and question ourselves too. Sometimes a lot of you guys ask really intuitive questions and they make us think. So we enjoy those. Please keep doing that. And we've also thought maybe if it's something you guys want, we could totally do a live Q&A one day and let you guys just chat with us, you know, ask whatever you want and we'll be as candid and open as we possibly can. We've always maintained that we don't want to be those people who, you know, are rude or tell you to like go to our consulting services. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free if that's something you guys want, please let us know and we would definitely um, look forward to doing that.
We hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And as always, Alex and I are trying to build a community of like minds who so would absolutely love it if you guys hit that like and subscribe button so you guys get the latest on our urban farming adventure. And we will see you guys next time.